Hello, it's Sarah, and I had to do a um, a shout out video for all you guys who are so helpful. I love YouTube so much, um, and all of you, uh, my subscribers, um, you keep me on point. I like that. Um, so I, I shared with you the book, The Art of Whimsical Lettering by Joanne Sharp yesterday, and I have been playing in my lettering book. This is my, um, she calls it something, you know, your fun journal, but it's where I'm just going to play and practice. I added washi tape today, which is super cool, just on the edges. So, I mean, it just, it just makes you happy when you hold on to things like this. And I don't know. So, um, I wanted to give a couple shout outs because, um, on my messages or my comments, I should say, well, Rhea, Maria Mead, she just left me a very simple message about my dip pen and Maria guess what it works so what she said was because I, I thought you know I can't get it to work but when you push down so see look if I push down it splits a little and you get it to you get the ink to flow I can turn it over well I think it's supposed to face down see it's not uh, I think there's just definitely a trick to it but at least I'm getting ink to come out. I couldn't even get ink to move. I managed to write hello um, a minute ago. Um, and I do think there are other nibs. Um, then, of course, I had Rhonda Garner. And she totally pointed me in the direction of Mary Doodles. And I never saw Mary Doodles videos before. But she had a video on... She's a, a, um, an artist who uses... This ink, this type of ink, India ink, I guess, or calligraphy ink, with um, watercolor. And so I'm going to definitely be watching more of her videos. And um, she definitely has, uh, she had the speedball set, which this is the speedball set, but it only came with one nib. And there's another one, I guess, that comes with more nibs. And maybe I'll just try getting the nibs separately or something. I mean, I don't mind paying a few more dollars and getting... Um, a couple more nibs but I mean there is there is it, it, there's a trick to it so it's not like it's just simple I think but see look I'm managing to get a thick line but I really can't get it to write I don't know it's very stiff so it seems like if I push I'm gonna rip the paper I mean that's how p sharp this is but look I wrote my name <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, I just really thank you. Oh, look, I'm getting, I got my whole name. And I mean, I'll tell you what, I don't love it. Be honest with you. It's not a fun tool to use if it's going to be like this. So I wouldn't use it very often, but, um, if I could figure out how to use it more properly, maybe I would use it. So, um, and the other one is Michelle Trimble. Thank you so much for the hookup with the Art of Whimsical Lettering Book Club. So I went, because I don't think I had friended or even liked Joanne Sharp on Facebook. Um, and evidently she just started a book club. This October was the first class. She's going to do a class a month to go along with the book. So, um... I just think that's fantastic because, I mean, like I said, I really like um, instruction. I love to take classes. And the more classes you take, the better because you learn the people think differently about things. And you might like some things and not so much the other things. She also pointed out that there's a little, these two pages, page 130, page 131, and page 132 are all kind of, quotes or um, any type of things like that live love laugh make art play practice write repeat so just words that so I don't have to think and you guys know I really don't like thinking <laughs> that doesn't sound right but um, so all I so for today's lesson or October's lesson um, we just did which was such a great I mean there are directions in this book. Don't get it mixed up. It is, you just have to read it, and she tells you what to do. 
um, but this was specifically uh, to write the art of whimsical lettering and we kind of followed the lead of her um, title for the book and we used pencil um, colored pencil uh, this she used I think a Tombow marker which I don't have and I just ordered them so I, you know what I have but I used my Tim Holtz but I want Tombow is they're watercolor inks I don't know I just wanted to get them I got them I'm terrible I have to de-stash some things I think but it's okay because um, I love watercoloring with these anywho and then just a black fine point pen and then her challenge was to then do one of the quotes from the back of the book so I put learn from yesterday live for today hope for tomorrow and I just lettered it and the basic idea was to use your own handwriting but then thicken up different parts of it you know so I just wrote whimsy whimsical and then I just thickened it up in certain parts and all of a sudden I like that now like I wish I don't know why what did I do on this I just used a thick pen and just let it be what it was but I should have used um, just a fine point and then um, and I also should have done it before I glued it on here and then I could have if I, if I didn't like it I didn't have to glue it on there but um, and then you thicken it up and I think I'm gonna like my lettering a lot more that way so I'm gonna keep playing and keep practicing but definite thank you thank you thank you you guys um, so helpful um, I love that you're there for me um, the way that I hope I'm there for you as well but um, her book is a bestseller on Amazon and I would recommend it I think there's lots of good instruction in here lot you have to just sit down and really I wasn't gonna make this this little um, composition book which she calls a letter love journal um, and she hears she shows you hers and she has several of them and I wasn't gonna do it I just started playing in one of my other journals that I have but I did it and I'm so glad I did because now it's gonna become a place where I play and practice every day and really try and um, improve the techniques see that's the thing art is about a lot of techniques you may not feel like you have any artistic ability um, but I mean if you like to play with pens and paper and stuff you can improve on what you have what your natural ability is by learning techniques and that's all I've done with my decorative painting and with anything you know there are certain techniques that you can add to your creative toolbox I call it and um, that's what I'm hoping to do because I mean and you guys also have been so complimentary about my handwriting in general and I mean I know it's not that my husband's is the, I mean he should have been a doctor you can't, it's that's how bad it is but um, mine's fine like my handwriting is fine but as an art form I don't see it you know what I mean like I don't I don't love it like I want to you know like it's an art form so that's what this book is absolutely doing for me and you just have to give it a minute you have to do the drills and you have to practice or it's it's not gonna work I mean you can't just buy a book and like you think it's just gonna happen you have to work the book and do the book and um, do the drills and so this is so exciting now that she is um, that Joanne has now um, given us this book club so I think if you go to Facebook I'll put the link in the description box for her Facebook page um, because I mean you can, it's free the classes are free you don't even have to have the book but she is kind of going through the book and doing certain like taking a lesson and expanding on it she's not repeating what's in the book she's expanding on the lessons in the book um, so if you I'll put that link in there um, I'm also gonna link to uh, uh, Mary Doodles I'm gonna put a link th that Rhonda totally helped me out that was so awesome and again Rhea you did a great job too I'm not sure that this pen is the pen for me now I can't find here it is 
Um, this nib just might be too uh, stiff, but I'm, I, I know there's a lot of other um, whatever kind of pen this is. Uh, videos so I need to watch more of those again because as well this is a technique as well there's technique to it there's you know it's not like magic it's not going to just work so anyway all right um, but yeah I had to give that little shout out and just tell you guys that I am definitely playing I, I also glued a little bit of um, graph paper in here so that I could play with graph paper. I may even put some um, watercolor paper in here or just, you know, little patches of watercolor paper or black cardstock so I could do lettering with white with my gel pens and all that stuff. So um, I look forward to playing in here more and I hope to continue. I don't want to set it aside and not do it. And I know I haven't done... Um, very many more um, art journal pages. I did. I took my journal soup class, and so I am planning on. I mean, I have an art cl uh, craft show coming up, and I'm just getting all that settled. I mean, that's another two weeks, and that's over, and then I can just get back to my casual um, crafting and doing whatever I feel like doing. But right now, I'm kind of spiffing up things and finding packaging and getting all that stuff together for my craft show um, so I just you know I get inspired so much by so many different things it's hard for me to stay <laughs> on one uh, type of craft so I appreciate you guys being there and thanks for watching <laughs>